Hey guys and welcome again to the Lost Cyclist Guide. Uh, this time we're going to talk about installing WordPress on your hosting. Uh, we've already bought the domain name and now it's time to get a website to go along with that. So hang on, uh, open a browser and here we go. Before we can even think about starting our hosting and getting WordPress installed onto our hosting associated with our domain name, we need to get the domain name associated with your hosting. And what you need to do is go to your hosting provider, log into your account. I use GoDaddy, so I'm going to log in at the top of the screen and then click on the black My Account section in the upper right hand corner of the screen. As we go through this tutorial, you're going to see some blacked out sections. These are domain names that I am protecting, uh, either for myself or for some of my clients. Um, you're going to want to click on the domain name that we are going to uh, correct the name servers on. Now, click on the Set Name Server section and fill out your information of the correct name server. Here you can see I have it correctly filled out for Host Monster Hosting with ns1.hostmonster.com and ns2.hostmonster.com. Your hosting will likely be different unless you are going with Host Monster and then you can use these same settings. Click OK and I like to give it 24 hours to update. Alright, go ahead and leave GoDaddy now and go to your hosting and log in. This should take you to your cPanel. I am very impressed with cPanel and how it lays out everything for even the um, dumbest of us to be able to use. Go ahead and click on the tab at the top that says Domain Manager. We are going to take a second and make sure that your URL that you bought is now going to be associated with your account. Now this is assuming that you have given it 24 hours for the name servers to update. Now, you are looking for something that has you assigning a domain to your cPanel account. Go ahead and click on that. Here is where you assign your domain. Go ahead and type that in there, and it will begin to look at the domain and make sure that it is associated with your account properly and with the name servers. Once it has found your domain and verified that, you'll see that step two will highlight, notating that it has been verified. Then you just fill out the rest of the screen like I have it here as an add-on domain to any existing account, or if this is your first domain, it'll set up as your primary. All right, now you want to go back to your home page and of your cPanel and look for something that says Simple Scripts. Simple Scripts is another amazing uh, tool that you really want to have installed or part of your hosting package and it's certainly something I would look for when I'm buying hosting. Click on Simple Scripts and then scroll down and look for the little area that says WordPress. Click on Install. Now take a second and fill out all of this information. You will want to make sure that it is being installed to the correct domain and also uh, take a second and expand step two and fill out what you want to use as your login name and even your password if you would like to go ahead and set that now. Um, fill out the legal information and tell it to install there under step four. And Houston, we have liftoff. In a second, this will finish downloading and give you a link that will take you to your login screen for your new WordPress site. Another way that you can reach the login for your WordPress site is to type in slash WP dash admin after your URL. This will take you to the screen to log in and access the dashboard of your WordPress. Hang on, hang around for a second. We're going to do a quick little uh, highlighting of some of the top things you want to adjust inside of your new WordPress installation. The nice thing about WordPress is that you can add these little tools called plugins to your site to expand its functionality. The first thing I like to do is add a few plugins, um, some of those for displaying AdSense ads, if I'm going to be using Google AdSense on my site. Uh, sometimes I just install plugins to, uh, to increase the security of the site or give myself more site management tools. I'll go ahead and show you some of the top ones I add and how you do that. Go ahead and uh, click on plugins and then click on add new. So the first plugin that we are going to install is Cookies for Comets. This is a really handy plugin that I actually found out about by watching a Matt Cutts video. And it helps cut down on the number of spam comments that you otherwise would be inundated with. It's amazing how many spammers will hate these websites. So go ahead and tell that that you do a search for Cookies for Comets. When it pulls up, tell it you want to install now. 
Now you may be faced with some pop-up boxes that says, are you sure you want to add this plugin? Go ahead and tell it OK as long as you know that it is a plugin that you trust and that you want to use. Uh, it'll take a second and unpackage that right into your website. Click on that Activate, and that will go ahead and activate that. Sometimes it takes you to a setting bo settings box then to go ahead and adjust the settings. Otherwise, you can always go to the settings on the left-hand side of your menu and adjust the settings there. Now, these are the other plugins I always like to add. I add the Google Privacy Policy to make sure that any uh, other websites or to, to make sure that you're in compliance for Google AdSense ads. I add Quick AdSense, which is a really handy tool for um, monitor for main maintaining your AdSense ads, and then also I add WP Cache for speeding up the site. Uh, finally, I like to add Login Lock as a way to help keep the login secure and prevent unlimited attempts of login. All right, so we are almost almost done. One of the things you may want to do is change the theme of your site or the appearance of your site. And there are hundreds of great themes to choose from. I would not recommend downloading any free themes from any other site than from WordPress. There are so many trashy themes out there that can actually damage your site. So either buy a premium theme from someone you can trust or stick with these themes that you find here in WordPress's site, which have a chance of being a little more uh, vetted, so to speak. Go ahead and click on the Themes uh, button there under Appearance, and that'll take you to a place where you can actually find some themes and, and an appearance and layout that you would like best for your site, and these are all free themes here. Once you get to the Themes section of your dashboard, just click on the Install Themes tab at the very top, and that will take you to the Search tool where you can search for themes. When you find one, just click on Install and uh, tell it to activate, and that will you can go back to your home page and see what you think about it and uh, see if it's going to work well for your needs. I tend to play around with my themes a little bit more at the start, but um, after a little bit of experience, I kind of know what I'm looking for in a theme, something that's pretty simple that draws attention to my message and is not too flashy. Uh, it typically works best for me, so I just try to look for a really professional theme that I can use without too much tweaking. Um, and that's what I pretty much do for themes there. Now, of course, you can buy some themes, and that actually would probably save you some time um, and even let you create a more professional look. But, you know, right now we're talking about how to do this on a budget, so where these are free themes. Also, uh, once you get your themes figured out, or maybe you want to leave the themes for later, that's okay. I would encourage you to play around on the left-hand side. You have Pages, and go ahead and click on the little Pages and Add New. Feel free to add an About Me page, list a little bit about your mission statement, and uh, some of the other good stuff you need to do. And then Post. Uh, there above that, on the left-hand side, click on Post, Add New, and start writing your first post. I'm going to take the next couple days and write some posts, and then come back and show you about how I choose some of my top keywords, and and uh, how we're going to create those into posts that are hopefully going to uh, really give Wes a run for his money on the wonderful little thing we call Niche Rivalry. As always, I want to encourage you to bookmark our, our, our websites. My website is Lost Cyclist. Dot me, and you can go to the Niche Rivalry page where I will keep you updated of all of these videos and blog posts um, about the rivalry and, and my side of the rivalry. Well, I really hope that you are digging in and finding your own keywords and uh, taking advantage of these videos. Maybe you're not going to do that on the same timetable that we are, but throughout 2012, I really hope you incorporate every one of these videos into a website of your own, or maybe you are already an internet marketer, and I, in that case, I really hope you're inspired to uh, hopefully take your game up a level and to provide me with some more competition in this world and make more money in your own pocket. Uh, once again, I hope you stay away from my keyword here of, of uh, kitchen gadgets, but however you, you go about making that money, I certainly wish you the best, and uh, thanks for visiting the website. Once you're done poking around my website, don't forget to set, stop over by Wes's at ChasingPace.com. And as always, keep pedaling. We'll see you here in a couple days.